something landed, but again, the quickness of John DePlessis to escape Red. There's a hard right to the kidney by DePlessis. DePlessis getting quite aggressive here. And you know he can't be happy about the headbutts and the grabbing. And I think this is his way of displaying his displeasure. Good blows to the body, but now Curette counters nicely with two lefts. I don't think this is what John wants to do, stand in and punch with this guy. And that's not underestimating the punching ability of DePlessis. I think Curette may be a little surprised as to how well this kid has shown himself here in here through these first four rounds. And the left-right combination. Amazing, the punches from DePlessis always come in bunches. Very seldom do you see one without a second, and oftentimes a third. That one missed to the side of the head. DePlessis backs off. We're in round four. Body blows there from DePlessis, and one might have been just a bit low. DePlessis has got a warning. Here's the warning. Joe Bear telling the pluses to keep him up, and John might be letting his emotions get the best of him a bit here. Roundhouse right hand missed by Garrett. Jerry Celestine in the corner of John DePlessis joining Les Bonanno. Straight left to the chin there by right hand glancing at the side of the face. Good action thus far and a crowd pleaser indeed. And a close fight also. Well, we were promised some good fights here tonight and thus far I haven't been disappointed. I don't think anybody else here has. Plus has had him by the leg there. Now Lucian Gilbert will try to jump in and he will warn the pluses once again. gotten a little bit out of hand. Obviously, this fighter does not like the other's tactics very much. Questionably, their styles and emotions are getting caught up in the scenery. That's the second time Duplessis has been warned for, for holding and throwing his opponent. Again, Duplessis is using his left hand to throw Correct to the ropes. I think it's turning more into a wrestling match. I think John is trying to show Curette that he is as macho as he is. No intimidation factor here, that's for sure. Again, in response to the same tactics of Curette early in the fight, as well as the headbutts. Of course, there's nothing more dangerous in that ring than a head. Pretty good left to the body by Curette here. Your opponent in there is tough enough. You certainly don't want to do anything to make him matter at it. Almost a low blow by Curette. And win with 20 wins, four losses, and one tie. Left jab got in by Curette that time. Plus is a 21-0 with 15 knockouts. And an extremely important fight in the careers of both fighters. Curette really needing a win to reestablish himself as a big league contender for a championship. And Plus is needing this fight to burst upon the national scene and get fights with the better opponents. Les Bonato now feels he's ready for that, thus the matchup this evening. Combination from DePlessis as Corrette lunges forward and escapes trouble. Those were picked off nicely by Corrette. Corrette is standing flat-footed and kind of lunging Plessis, which means he's not getting as much on his punches and he's leaving himself off balance. Whereas you can see Duplessis, he's moving around just as much as he was when he first started this fight. He hasn't lost anything at all. Now the fighters embracing. Espinado has been extremely unhappy throughout this fight. That's more, he had more of a headlock on Duplessis that time, and that's about the third or fourth time. And the end of round five, and uh, an interesting round. Move into round six here. Uh, 
have this fight virtually even at this point. Two rounds for each fighter with one round even. The first left hand got into the side of the head of Edward Durant by DePlessis. Both fighters have had trouble finding the range, the exception of round two when DePlessis had a good round. Red staying after him. He's following him everywhere he's going this time. He's not. He, once again, you see Duplessis is using that right arm as he tries to get away from his opponent, as you touched on earlier. Good, solid right hand. He, he hurt him. He hurt him. Duplessis with a big right to the head after a good right to the body earlier in the round, and the fans come alive again. Duplessis with the quick hands. Comes out of the neutral corner and they're back in the center of the ring. That was one of the hardest punches I've ever seen. And Curette just comes back, didn't even phase him. Oh. He certainly can frustrate you with that movement. Les Bonanno has said many times that DePlessis has radar when it comes to seeing punches. Oh. Plessis. Big right hand. And another. Jurent backs off. He has just come out here and, and served notice. The Plessis with a couple of lefts. Jurent looking tired. Plessis wisely backing off, waiting for his shot. And another short right by the Plessis. Directly into Plus's corner. That looks tired. This man has never been knocked down in a fight. A good combination by the Plus's. And another good end. What an exhibition. Oh! <laughs> he is just cooking on all cylinders right now. Charette doesn't know what to do. Plus is what an exhibition. Straight right by Curet, and now they're tie each other up in this neutral corner directly in front of us. Kenny Trahan along with Keith Newton. Exciting sixth round action with Landmark about featured by John DePlessis and Edwin Curet. Good to have you with us this evening. Round six comes to an end. The biggest round of the fight for John DePlessis, and he acknowledges DePlessis, Edwin Curet. Great action. Main event. Plessis coming in, knew he had to keep Curette off balance, and he's done a marvelous job at that. Curette just can't seem to get his timing down because of Plessis' constant movement and feigning and variations of the attack. With four rounds to go, we've still got a lot of boxing left, but we could be looking at the makings of an upset here. Right to the side of the head of Curette, and then his head went underneath the ropes. No real harm done there. That right lead missed by the Plessis. Curet in his last fight back in September was stopped by Alvin Hayes in the second round because of a badly cut mouth. That was a non-title bout. Back in July, he stopped Sterling McPherson in nine rounds and knocked out Canadian lightweight champion Remo DiCarlo in four rounds last December in his most recent bouts. For the Petronelli brothers, Goody and Pat. Pat here this evening, serving in the corner along with nephew Tony, who we heard from earlier. Short right hand by DePlessis, correct counters. And... Correct sense in trouble here. He knows he's in danger of losing this thing. So he is on his bicycle. Every place DuPlessis goes, he's one step behind him. Nice left-right combination by DuPlessis and another right hand by John DuPlessis. And the quick hands of Super Dig. Again, the fans respond. According. DuPlessis turning his head as if to say, I'm not looking, and then trying to come back with a right. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want to get cued here. Well, that's... The plus is reverses. Correct. 
Now they tie each other up. Smart move on the part of Duret. Midway through round seven, John DePlessis and Edwin Curet. What a battle on our hands. Right hand by DePlessis here. We're joined by super matchmaker Tiki Kleindorf. And Tiki, you have to not only be pleased with this fight, but the caliber of the fights thus far this evening. He's absolutely fantastic. Young Muhammad Ali, I'm telling you, he is absolutely fantastic tonight. Better than I've ever seen. And he's in with a pretty good fighter. Absolutely. He's pitching a shot off for Zaga. I think the, well, the yeah. public knows here that this man, uh, the, uh, Curette, has never been knocked down. Never. He is one tough cookie and has oh, taken yeah. some of the best right hands of John here this evening. And though he has been staggered, he's maintained his balance in good shape. Amazing how the crowd is behind this boy. It's unreal. Well, I think he brings that upon himself with his colorful style and flash. He's a Beautiful looking athlete, as Keith mentioned. Uh, guy reminds you of the, he has the grace and skills of a basketball player, the way he moves, and yet has the punching power and quickness to avoid punches. I think that might be, in fact, his greatest asset, his ability to make people miss. I say this without fear of contradiction. If John ever loses, he'll never be on condition. He'll be by a better man, never by condition. But he's a very well conditioned fighter. I think maybe he got a second win there. He came out, there he goes, hit him again. Uh oh. Another. Might be a first. Big right hand by DePlessis and Curet wisely ties him up. Les Bonanno unhappy with Bush and Jobar thinking that Curet grabbed illegally. Curet is a smart cookie. He's going to get out of there. He's been some season fighters. He knows his way around the ring. Short right by DePlessis got in there. Curet continues to come forward, however. Round eight. And DePlessis looking to score the biggest win of his young career. Certainly, what would have to be considered an upset, at least on paper. Absolutely. To those in the know, <laughs> they the wouldn't know. be so too surprised, however. Left hand to the midsection of DePlessis by Gillette. There's a short right by John. I think a man with less boxing skill would have gone down a couple of times. John got him with some good shots, but he's a good back. combination again. Left hand by Caret there, and DePlessis wisely backs off. The uppercut picked off by Caret. John's beating him to the punch, if you notice that. John's beating him to the punch. No question he is quicker with his hand speed. Right lead by DePlessis. Getting off first, that's the thing. It's the name of the game. Nice right. Punching by both opponents, but no serious damage down there. Midway through round eight. Plessis and Curet scheduled for 10. And looking very much as we expected, like it will go the distance. We sold so many tickets tonight, the Fire Fire Marshal made a stop. Got a sellout house tonight. Isn't that a shame? By the same token, it's great to watch out for here. Curet knows he's in trouble of losing this fight. He's going to do everything he can in these last two rounds to come out and try and keep his string intact here. Left hand by Correct there, and DePlessis gets out of there quickly, but the fighter's back in the center of the ring. I have DePlessis in control here. After a cautious first round, DePlessis has been simply the better fighter, in my estimation, at this point. I think maybe Correct underestimated the young kid just a little bit. There was only a quarter of an ounce difference in the weight this morning and weighed in. Fight is scheduled for 137. Good left hand. DuPlessis delivers again. John right. covering up nicely. Red now throwing in combinations. The red came in at 139, John at 138 and three quarters. Very even matchup indeed, weight-wise. Straight right by DePlessis. Now he loses his balance just a bit. Correct presses forward. Midway through round nine. Our main event. 